emergency meme review right here, right now. You guys, extremism is running rampant right now on the internet, okay? And some of you might be too stupid to realize what is extreme and what is not. That's why Facebook is now warning you when you might have been exposed to extremism. Are you concerned that someone you know is becoming an extremist? We care about preventing extremism on Facebook. Others in your situation have received confidential support. How you can help? Hear stories and get advice from people who escaped violent extremist groups. Do you know someone? Do you know Uncle Joe? Your sister? Your brother? Maybe you? Are you the extremist? You can now get support. Carl, you may have been exposed to harmful extremist content recently. Violent groups try to manipulate your anger and disappointment. You can take action now to protect yourself and others. Get support from the experts. Spot the signs. Understand the dangers of extremism and hear the people who escaped by the groups. Facebook is now the arbiter of what is extreme and what is not extreme, who is bad, who is good. So get the support and the help that you might need. That's why, guys, it's running rampant on YouTube too. And I'm going to go over some memes today. We're going to go over what's extreme, you know, what you might be exposed to, because you probably don't know. You need Facebook to tell you. You need me to tell you here on YouTube what's extreme and what's not extreme. And I'm gonna tell you how to get help, okay? We're gonna go over that at the end of this video because I care about you. Before we jump into today's meme review, as always, if you care about others around you, head down and like this video, help it spread, and make sure you are subscribed if you are new here, and make sure you have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now guys, on to today's meme review. Can you post it or can't you post it? Go. My dog when he's eating. Don't tread on me. My dog when I'm eating. This is a problem. We need to fix our puppies, fix our dogs. You know, when they have, they don't want to give back. When they don't have, they want to take, 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 take. That's a problem. That's a problem. Liberals say free Britney because it's her money and she should spend it as she sees fit. She should go where she wants and not be locked up in her house. Britney should make her own health decisions. They're so close to realizing they're Republican. Guys, 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 guys. That's extremism. You guys, this is a very funny irony. Something that a lot of these these college-aged lefties promote this free Britney stuff and don't realize the actual things they're promoting. If they realize that, that's not good. So you can't share this. This is extremism. Don't share that. I believe victims of rape. Dan Errol raped me and his penis is tiny. <laughs> Everyone please block and report Xiao Xu who is trying to accuse me of rape because I said I believe victims of rape. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, but pointing out the the lunacy of believing every word from every person, that's extremism. No, you can't share that. Calling Kamala's visit to El Paso a visit to the southern border is the equivalent of going to Olive Garden and saying you've been to Italy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually true. That's actually true. You can't post that though. Don't say that. That's that's not okay. Don't share that. New President Biden ordered airstrikes this weekend on Iran backed militias near the Iraq Syria border in response to unmanned aerial vehicle attacks, according to Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby. Prob thought he was ordering lunch. <laughs> the sad part is, is he probably did. The guy's brain is fried. He doesn't he's not in control. He didn't order these airstrikes. Come on, let's get real here. And if he did, he probably did think he was ordering lunch. Haven't you heard of the Delta variant? Yes, that is why I fly Southwest. <laughs> That's stupid. That, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself for even laughing at that. That's a stupid meme. <laughs> Poland. Social media companies face $2.2 million fines for removing lawful free speech. You're just going to fine me millions of dollars every time I arbitrarily censor or block someone? Tech. Whoa, 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 whoa. Poland, that's extreme. You can't go spreading those ideas. You can't give these ideas to bigger countries that I think should do the same thing. You know, if you're going to censor lawful free speech, you're not going to follow the constitution. Oh, it's a private company. Private. I forget. What am I saying? $1 trillion monopolistic private company. What am I saying? What am I, I'm an I idiots. Idiots. When the tax slaves won't give up their guns. You can't fight nukes and F-15s, guys. You can't, you don't need an AR-15 because you can't fight nukes and, and F- Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, that's extreme. That's extreme. Being pro-gun 
is extreme. You can't post that. Dear Plexiglass, thank you for protecting me from the cashier who just touched every single item I'll be taking home with me. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, uh, don't point out the lunacy, the hysteria, the stupid, incompetent rules that we've had to live by the last year and a half. Do not talk about that, okay? That's extreme. Joe, go pick a corrupt cop as your VP during the height of anti-cop protests. I've chosen Kamal Harris as my VP. <laughs> oh, God. We live in clown world, guys. Clown world. That's actually a fact check true, though, so you can share that one. He actually did do that. College student then. College student now. It's also a fact check true. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, okay. This is where I draw the line. You know, this uh, tongue-in-cheek humor only goes so far. I am actually disgusted at this. This is not okay. Comparing God, Emperor, Xi to Winnie the Pooh. Are you kidding me? That's not allowed. You're going to get banned for that. That's extreme. Making fun of the dear, solemn leader of China. How dare you? Don't ever post this. You're going to get in trouble for that one. Me trying to understand what Biden is saying. Careful. He might nuke you. New York landlords be like, that'll be $2,000. Seriously, why do you still live there, people who live in New York City? This is not a good way to live. For $2,000 a month, you could have a whole house, possibly on a lake somewhere. But you choose to live like this. That's sad. That's really sad. If you want to talk about extremism, that's extreme. YouTube, 2005 to 2019. Do whatever you want. LOL. YouTube, 2020 to 2021. No music, no swears, no video reactions, no nothing. It is getting worse and worse. But you guys, that's why I'm here to help you. I'm here to tell you what you can and can't post. YouTube, you can thank me later for informing the audience, all right? Julia has two passions in life, cannabis and horses. Jesus is watching, all right? This is what happens. This is what happens when you talk on that wacky tobacco, that devil's lettuce. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. That's your passion. That's your passion. Go ahead. I don't care. You can use the self-checkout. No, thanks. I don't work here. Yeah. Why do we go to the self-checkout? They're literally exploiting us. We don't work there. They're getting free labor from us. Come on. It puts the needle in its skin or it gets the mask again. This is where we are. This is happening right now, actually. That's a fact check tree. You can share that one. That's not extreme. My parents in their 20s. Let's buy this house and have three children. Me in my 20s. You can be, you can do both, you guys. You can be meme lords and you can have a, a wife, a house, and kids. You should do both. The crazy part is, is people in their 20s that have a house and kids and are married, that is extreme today. That's like the counterculture. Bizarre. How, I don't know how that ever happened, but it is. When you see someone running for the elevator, but you press the close button anyway. <laughs> it's a dick move, but I do the same thing. <laughs> only bans. Yep, only bans. And then you get labeled as an extremist. And you get put on a list. Then you get calls from the FBI. That's what happens today. That's what Mark Zuckerberg does. Mom, if you don't do well in school, you'll become a garbage man. The garbage man who makes more than her. I love this meme because it's so true. All of these condescending pricks that go to college and think they're better than people that have blue collar jobs. These blue collar workers oftentimes make more money than them and have less debt, live better lives all around. So I love this meme. All podcasts have the same three people hosting it. <laughs> um, if you guys watch Zedcast, let me know which, uh, there's three of us, obviously, if you watch it. Tell us which one is which in the comments. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good chicken strip? If you share that meme, you're an extremist. Wow. If I had four arms. Um, anyone who posts this meme as well, report them. They're fantasizing about having four arms. That's kind of messed up. Do men still open car doors? How do you think we get inside? I just jumped through the sunroof. Me trying to control my laughter in a serious situation. Yeah, it just ain't happening. I'm the same way. Grow up though, grow up. Wow, it actually works. If you can't see the number, you, one, are tired. Two, are sad. Three, need love. 
I don't see that one. You need a new press. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, which number can't you see? Everyone be talking about how Lay's in Dorito is 50% air, but no one about how jerky is 90% air and costs an arm and a leg. That's a real crime that nobody talks about. You guys, careful about posting this because the, the jerky kings might come after you. Uh, you might be labeled an extremist if you make this a priority in your life, but we need to fix this. The first step to reducing your emissions is to know where you stand. Find out your carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. I pledge not to spill 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. BP really posted this. BP. Unbelievable. Domino's has introduced the new Chicago style pizza. <laughs> That's dark, but if we're talking if there was actually a Chicago style pizza, this would be it. The best part is they try to say that this is not actually happening. They're gaslighting that hard, saying that crime rates aren't really going up. There's really not that much crime here. And there's like 30 to 40 murders a weekend in Chicago. You need an F-15 and the thing to take on the government. No, we just need to stop paying taxes. Hey, whoa, whoa, that's extreme. Insinuating that if everyone just stopped paying taxes, then we wouldn't have to deal with people like Joe Biden anymore. And that's how easy it is. That's extreme. You cannot promote that. That's very extreme. You're going on a list. Today at the grocery store, I saw someone check the ingredients on some soup. She must be an anti-fooder since she doesn't blindly trust the company that made the product to decide what's best for her body. These anti-fooders are dangerous and put the rest of us at risk. I agree. If you care about what goes in your body and you check the food labels to see what's in those foods, if you do that, you're an anti-fooder. You're a nut job. You're a tinfoil hat wearer, okay? If you care what goes in your body, you're a nut job. So please share this because we need to spread awareness about this. Waiter, how do you like your steak cooked? Me, like winning an argument with my girlfriend. Waiter, rare it is. Yeah, don't share that one. Girlfriend ain't gonna like that. You're dead. You don't know that you're dead. All of the pain is felt by others. The same thing happens when you are stupid. That's a fact check true. You can share that one. Life has never given me lemons. It's given me anger issues, anxiety, and a serious love of alcohol and a dislike of stupid people. Hey, at least you got Led Zepp, man. You got Led Zepp. You got Def Lepp. You got Cinderella. You got Junkyard. Freaking Dio. Dude, you got the tunes, man. All right. Dad, will you put my hair in a bun? That is a grade A dad joke. Dumb. That's, you can't, do not share that. Pickup companies hate him. Learn how he saved thousands with this one simple trick. If you want, if you share this one, Ford, GM, all them, all those companies, they're coming after you. They don't want you to know that secret. Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. This is extreme. That is very extreme. Puke. What do you think about today's meme review? What do you think about all these extremists sharing these memes? You guys, you can't share these memes. You can't criticize Biden. You can't criticize the handling of COVID. You can't do any of that. This is the world we live in, okay? I'm trying to help you guys out. In all seriousness, we need to start deleting Facebook. And I mean that sincerely. Uh, it's got It's going to be a grassroots movement. There's a lot of people on Facebook, but every person that gets off there is a win. So please delete your Facebook. Keep promoting that on your other platforms. Keep your other platforms for now. If you have already deleted your Facebook, please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas to help get others walk away from this cesspool cancerous platform called Facebook. Please let me know. Again, let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Idiots.